Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I hate Boston. Boston's the worst. What? What is, what is that? <laughs> All right, Audrey. I am so great. I'm sorry, am I in the way? Always. Okay. Oh. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Okay. All right, how many of y'all love to watch men's sports? Raise your hand. Okay, you love watching the NBA. Okay. What about the national champions, Baylor, last year? Right? Like, they're good. Okay. Now, this next question, all of y'all are going to have your hands raised. What about the WNBA? Like, really? <laughs> you, you turn on the TV and the WNBA is what you want to watch. Yeah. Right? Well, why is it that we love to watch men's sports, but not women? Maybe it's because men are more entertaining, stronger, faster, bigger, way more, and it's just like so much more competitive, right? Okay, what if all of a sudden, this guy, you know him, LeBron James, we love this guy, all of a sudden decides, you know what? I wanna go to the WNBA. Like, that's what I feel called to do. And then LeBron James takes testosterone suppressors for a year and then goes to the WNBA, competes with all of the women at that exact same level, height, strength, everything. Now, does that seem fair to y'all at all? Doesn't seem fair to me. So all of y'all are wondering about my advertisement and you're like, you know what, that was so interesting. That was so entertaining. Okay, well, I'll tell you a little backstory. So this is Cece Telfner. Now, Cece Telfner was the NCAA D2 400 meter hurdle national champion in 2019. Now in 2019, got first place. A little backstory, 2016 was ranked 260th in the men's division. 2017 was, 2017 was ranked 390th. 2018 took a break, testosterone suppressors for a year, and then 2019 came back and won the women's division overall. Now I'll be able to like, okay, well in 2018, like trained hard, worked hard. CC probably did, but CC also had that advantage that people, that women just aren't born with. All right, this person might be familiar, some of you, if you know, but this is Laurel um, Hubbard. Laurel Hubbard competed at the 2020 Olympics for powerlifting. So Laurel Hubbard is overhead snatching 265, which is the weight of Summer and I combined. Now, Laurel was born a male and then transitioned to a female in her early 40s. Now, competed as a male in powerlifting for the longest time and then switched over. Now, Laurel failed to complete the first, like, snatch of the Olympics, but that's due to Laurel's personal reasons, I guess. But like, that what she just lifted at 265, that's like impressive for, that's like good job as a guy. But like as a female, that could have like put a dent in the podium stand at the Olympics. But didn't. Okay, look at this picture. Like these are some jacked people, right? Like look at them. I mean, these men, women, like that, that's impressive, that's bodybuilding. But as you can see, the men, like, look how they're just so much more like stronger up here, legs, all of that type of thing. Well, that's because men from a study out of England have 55 to 65 more upper body strength than women do and 25 to 35 more lower body strength than women do. So to put that in perspective, that's just like, that's just women, no matter how hard they train, eat more, lift more, they're not gonna be able to get that genetic advantage that men naturally are born with. Okay, so everyone here has different views and I respect you and your decision if you are transgender or if anything, if you, some people feel they were born in the wrong body. But what I don't respect is men competing in women's division that we've had to fight for in the past 50 years for rights, I mean, that's the difference between a fourth place and a third place finish. I mean, third place, you're on the podium, you got deals, sponsorships, people are recognizing you, you're above everyone on the little, like, stand. Fourth place, like, no one remembers fourth place at the Olympics, right? Like, that's not important, okay? So, women have fought hard, and I believe that we should still keep fighting to let women's sports stay women's sports. Leads me to like, my last point is that the next time I'm on the track and someone like Cece lines up to race against me, can I count on y'all to come down to the track, lay in CeCe's lane, and stand up for women's sports?